Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Oh, listen, at least I make myself laugh. I've got my mug, I've got my friend's jumper on, which was from Primark by the way. Best purchase I've ever made in my life. I am ready to spill some tea on the new Revolution Times Friends collection. So if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and let's just get into it. So if you could not tell by my coffee mug on my jumper, I am the biggest Friends addict ever. Like I can quote it word for word. And I don't know what it is when people say they haven't watched Friends, it kind of hurts my soul because I'm like, you are seriously missing out. I don't know if we can be friends no pun intended if you know me i will quote friends in normal conversation i watch it a bit too much whenever i try to watch a new series or something and i can't i literally give it about 10 minutes and if i can't get to it i'm like you know what just put friends on it's just such a safe option i watch it all the time and i know some of you are going to be offended but i can you believe that i never used to like chandler and I think it's because I didn't get his humour. And then as I grew up, I'm like, oh my God, I am literally a female version of Chanda. Chanda is my favourite character. Anyway, so I knew for a while that Revolution are going to come out with a Friends Times of Revolution collection. And it was top secret then, so obviously no one knew. And this just excited me beyond belief. I was ready and willing to go out and buy it. And not necessarily because I needed more makeup, but simply for nostalgia and just to have the collection basically. That is until one of my very good friends on YouTube, Han, I will leave her on screen now. If you haven't, please go subscribe to her. She's amazing. She's on the PR list for Revolution and she actually sent over so much makeup in here of the Revolution collection and I just want to say Han that if you're watching this thank you so so much. I genuinely appreciate it. She knew how much I love friends and again probably a bit too obsessed with friends so she decided to send the collection over i chose this out rather than the black bag just simply because it's so so cute and it always sells out this is eight pounds and i can't wait to just put my everyday makeup in there so i really like it another thing i really really liked was on here if you can see it's got a lobster which i just think the attention to detail on that is just amazing it sent me over so much guys and basically saved me a lot of money i do want to get some scrunchies actually because i do feel like i'll use them all the time like for revolution obviously we're used to seeing four pound palettes so when it was 20 pounds i was like okay that is a little bit steep for revolution i do believe it will sell really really well just simply for the fact that if you're a friends fan you will get it so i will leave the palette somewhere here on screen and i'm not gonna lie i'm spinning some tea on this palette because when i saw it i was not disappointed as someone who absolutely loves friends and watches it and knows it off by heart i think a lot of you will agree that you might strongly disagree actually but there you go i didn't like emily and I just don't like the fact that she's in the palette, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. It's quite a big character in there because she's married to Ross, but yeah, I'm not keen on the fact that she's in there. And Paolo, why is he in this palette, please? Like, why cheated on Rachel? He hit on Phoebe. He was just arrogant. Like, why is he in this palette? Like, no, he should not be in this palette. I'm sorry, but no. Mindy why is Mindy in this palette? I know she was Rachel's maid of honour, one of Rachel's best friends and she went to her wedding and stuff but she still went with her ex-fiance you know so I don't think Mindy should be in this palette either. Highly 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 confused as to why Barry is in this palette. No Rachel was gonna marry him but why no also they have shades called mr and mrs geller and i feel like they should have been jack and judy and why is like it confuses me as to why barry and mindy and paolo are in this palette why is erica not in this palette she literally gave chanda and monica her babies and i know there's a series two and three coming out of this but like no i feel like erica should have been in this palette I feel like instead of Mr. Geller, they should have named it Jack and then that would have been the baby, Monica and Chandler's baby's names covered as well. That little rant over, let's get into the products. The Monica and Rachel palettes, these are what I got from hand. Let me just open them. These are £8 each. 
So these have nine eyeshadows in them. So they've both got mirrors. So let me just show you the Rachel palette first. The Monica palette. Again, with some of the shade names in the palettes, I would definitely change them and make them more relatable. For example, Rachel's got Chip and Tag in it. I definitely would have named one of them Ross and another shade called Fashion. I mean, Monica's is not too bad. Lovely palette. So the purple one is Monica, pink one is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. They're nice palettes. I hand did send, say to me do you want rachel or phoebe palette and i chose rachel because i put phoebe palette on screen now and i feel very strongly about this i honestly believe that makeup revolution missed such a golden opportunity to make the most crazy is palette i'm talking stacy marie vibe tammy carnival palette vibes i'm talking sample beauty palette like those kind of in your face palettes phoebe is so vibrant and over the top and things like that and with this palette i just think it was quite underwhelming is that a word i think it is let's just go with it it's quite underwhelming for a phoebe palette i hope in series two and three they come out with something with bright colors like in your face proper phoebe vibes you know so i will be using both of these i was going to show you all of the products first i think i'm just going to go in with the shadows first and try and come up with a look swatch three other shades so let's swatch tag because that looks like a lovely shade the tag has got a bit of a pink tone to it swatch dinosaur as well don't think you can tell no you crush because oh okay um i've just swatched crush and i don't know if you can tell but it's a bit patchy that it took quite a few goes to go on like that once they're applied to the eyes they can be different so let's just hope they are so let's go in with gala cop and swatch that that is so much better that is one swatch and it's so much better than the crush shade in the rachel palette and um, i don't want this to be a negative video guys but i've always said like i will never fake a review for you guys just to be on someone's good side like if i don't like it i don't like it you could get on better with it also gonna go in with chef <gasps> that is so beautiful okay monica's palette definitely made up for it they are so so nice we're actually gonna go in with crush from the rachel palette okay so i'm gonna just pat it in Okay, it's actually shown up better on the eyes, higher than the crease, and go round, so make it round shape. I don't know if you can tell, it is quite patchy. The more I'm layering it, it's coming out nice. I'm just going to blend it in whilst I go. I'm leave it like that, it's a little bit messy, but I'm going to get, just going to get a brush and go in with, with the shade Chicken from the, from Monica's palette, and basically oh wow did you see that like okay i mean not gonna lie there's quite a bit of fallout but i'm just gonna go around and blend it in by the way guys let me know who your um favorite character is down below because it would be so interesting to see i also feel like eddie is such an underrated character like oh my god like when he's like i want to hear it from your lips <laughs> it still cracks me up oh my goodness i don't know if you can tell the shade chicken has a lot of fallout but my goodness in real life shade crush and chicken oh my god they look so nice i don't know if you can you can tell on camera but it's blending so nice i don't think i've been blending for that long and i'm actually really happy with that two shades complement each other so so well i'm gonna use the shade twins which is this shade here from monica's palette and i'm not wetting it and i'm just popping it oh my god that is so nice guys i'm not cutting the crease or anything because 
weeks i can't be bothered if i'm completely honest with you i feel like that's such a nice color so i'm gonna do the same on the opposite eye and i'll see you in a minute hey guys i'm back so i just finished the look off by putting some unicorn cosmetics eyelashes on in the style apple sours my all-time favorite lash i then went in with the shade crush and just went at the bottom of my eyes just very very lightly on a break this one I'm just going to go into the inner corner and use it as a highlight shade. Oh, that's nice. Perfect highlight shade. Wow. Oh my God, it's just made my eye pop. Can you see that? Wow. Oh my God, okay. That is definitely my favourite shade. Much to Ross's disappointment, <laughs> if you know, you know. I just think that's just made the whole look pop. Wow. Oh God, can you imagine that as a highlight shade? Anyway, I'm quickly going to go in with some Fake It Mascara from Primani, um, aka Primark, and quickly go in at the bottom of my eye. So that is the finished look, guys. From what I can see, I'm pretty happy with them. I think this is such a nice makeup look if i do say so myself you can tell the patchiness of crush though and um, if i'm honest but that's if you look in detail but i think this is such a nice look that shade twins the glitter shade is so beautiful with the highlight shade on a break i'm not gonna lie i love this makeup look i'd be so happy to wear this for my birthday I actually think I will. Really, really happy with that. The only thing is there is a lot of fallout, but I'm so glad Han sent me these palettes. Um, and I will definitely be using them a lot more. Like the shade Chef is screaming out at me. I would definitely recommend purchasing these palettes. Um, you do have the shade Frizzy, which is a bit like Crush, but I guess just a lighter version. But yeah, these are really, really nice palettes. It's a bit of fallout, but if you can look past that, I feel like if you're a friend's fan, you'll buy these anyway just for nostalgia you know so if you guys want a separate video on these and using one palette only please let me know and i would definitely do that let's move on to the lips so the lip products are six pounds each so han sent me over two lipsticks i've got phoebe and rachel which the packaging is so so cute i'm not gonna lie like look how nice the packaging is and the fact that they got the shades at the top this is the Rachel it's a purple matte shade and then Phoebe a bright pink shade I think I would have chosen a bright pink for Phoebe or a bright red for lobster I think I would have went for the pink because that's more personally to me I feel like that's more of a Phoebe shade and I think this is a really nice shade for Rachel I and mean, it comes out more of a purple shade but I definitely think a beautiful color for Rachel would have been this shade but just more of a brown undertone to it and I think it would have been perfect so yeah the the sh lipsticks I'm really excited to use I'm gonna use the shade Rachel today so that's what I'm gonna do oh okay if it's more of a brown undertone I think it would just would have went so beautifully with this look i'm not sure if it clashes do you see what i mean do you know with those two shades matched together i think that would have been a rachel lipstick it doesn't feel fully matte it feels like a semi it applied really nicely really smooth Just with this look i'm not sure how i feel about it but let's see if we can put on a lip gloss and change that shall we sent me over four lip glosses guys like what she's truly spoiled me this is the shade phoebe i love the fact that it's got like whatever they're rela it's related to at the top so this is chandler which is so nice and again just a classic door print on the top and then we have the shade ross which has this marcel at the top out of these i think i might go for monica or chandler now i'm just going to take the shade rachel off and go with monica's because it's i don't know i feel like hers or chandler's I'm gonna go for one. Oh, these smell nice. The game the shade is really, really pretty. It doesn't stick. It doesn't have that horrible sticky feeling. It does have very fine glitter in it. To be fair, I think it's such a nice lip gloss. Yeah, it doesn't feel sticky or anything. Feels really nice. Applied really nicely. Really easy to use. I'm just gonna try Chandler as well. 
pardon <laughs> i'm going to try the lip gloss in chandler i don't know if you can tell i've wiped it a lot that's why my lips are literally red um but there is still some glitter left over i'm going to try the shade chandler which is a nice baby pink it's just such a pretty pink color okay so compared to monica this is obviously a lot smoother because it doesn't have the glitter i'm actually going to go over this shade with a little bit of monica and see how they might mix you know what just because <laughs> so i'm gonna go over <gasps> that's so much better that's like the kind of nude i wanted both monica and chandler together and I really enjoyed using all these products. As a friend fanatic, I absolutely love them. And yeah, I can't wait for series two. And they're bringing out a series three as well, which I'm like, oh my God. Honestly, I feel like the team that make this are living their best life. And I want to part of it. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this look. Monica and Chandler lip glosses together is my ultimate fave. Like it's such a gorgeous color. I love it love the eye look i think it's just come together really really well and to be fair after trying the shade crush i was like oh no what am i doing this video is just going to be so negative and obviously i didn't want it to be and it's not so i really really love this video thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one